Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more Elix 2. And we last left off, we've got one more thing to do before we can become a cultivator, or at least get into the Berserker's uh, top main camp where the good stuff is. Join this faction, all that crap. We've got to work with this dude. I'm pretty good with faces, and yours is new around here. So spit it out. Who are you? Name's Jax. All right, then. Next question. Faction. Which one do you belong to? I don't belong to anyone. Better not be lying to me. Why would I lie about that? I guess we'll see. Just remember, I'm going to be watching you real close. Do you interrogate everybody like this? We have to be extra careful these days. There's been a few undesirables hanging around the fort. And they could be anywhere. But you seem to check out. You could smell those bastards a mile away. Bottom line, though, we need to find them soon. Fort's had enough trouble lately. Are you talking about the outlaws? Damn straight. I just know they're the ones who tried to kill Rat. You must have seen their stinking propaganda. There's flyers all over the fort. That's why Fenris sent me to speak to you. Ah, oh, I get it. Trying to get into the upper district, huh? Works for me. Can always use a good volunteer. If there's anything you need to know, fire away. How can we find the source of the outlaw propaganda? Well, the bastards who spread this stuff did leave some clues behind. Such as? Here's one of the flyers they've been putting up. And here's one of the nails they used to hang them. Take a good look at them. See if you notice the same things I did. Good. Well, there's the nail. So that's a blacksmith's hammer. And then the other thing doesn't show up in your inventory at all. Awesome. We'll guess. About those clues. Go on, look closely at the flyer and nail. The clues are right there. Let's see, nail. It looks like this nail was made in a forge. Good, good. My conclusion exactly. And the flyer. And the flyer? What do you make of that? <clears throat> mm. The back of the flyer is kind of interesting. The back of the flyer is kind of interesting. That's right. It gives us a concrete lead to follow. The starting point, at least. You spotted the same two clues I did. The nail was made in a forge, and the propaganda flyer has a drink menu on the back. That's some nice attention to detail. I'm impressed. Based on these facts, a couple of possible suspects come to mind. Chloe the innkeeper, and last the blacksmith. Either of them could have had something to do with this. They'd never talk to a guard, but they might be more open with an outsider like you. I'd like you to question them both. I'll be keeping an eye on who's going in and out of Chloe's tavern. We clear? Yeah, I got Crystal you. Clear. Good. Then we'll meet up again when you're done talking to them. Okay. Very good. Okay, so there should be one real close. And the other one, the smith is on the other side of the fort. But this is the big bar right here. I think a couple episodes back we even went in there. That guy didn't like us. You ever seen this before? 
It's one of those pieces of paper advertising Baxter's goons, isn't it? That's right. And what do you expect me to do with it? Um, they suspect you were involved somehow. They suspect you must be involved somehow. What? <laughs> you got a fucking screw loose? Ever look at the back? These are your drink menus. Huh. Well, that explains a lot. What exactly? We don't really suspect you of collaborating with the outlaws. Can you please just help us clear this up? I would love to. I knew someone was stealing my drink menus. I have to get new ones made all the time. It was killing me. I was about to start just writing the damn prices on the blackboard. Having said that, I'm pretty sure no menus have gone missing in the last week or so. So you probably won't find the culprits here. Was that it? If so, I need to get back to work. I'm sorry I can't help you. You'll just have to keep looking. Apparently they're still in Goliath. Easy enough. Bar fights. Okay. All right. Take a short cut across here. Wasn't really a shortcut. Saw a woman of such help you with something. Speak up and talk fast. There's iron in the fire. Then you must be the blacksmith. Mm-hmm. Guess I must. Damn forge is hotter than hell. Swinging a hammer in there is thirsty work. So you buying? That nope. isn't enough. That I don't have any drink on me. Buy some from Chloe. That's what I do. Taste all right. Grab some for me while you're with her, huh? Are these nails your handiwork? Let me see. Hmm. Could be. Been a while since I made nails. But the longer ones there, those might be mine. Stopped making them because they just kept getting stolen. Why are you asking? Those nails were used to hang up outlaw propaganda. Well, that explains why nobody was buying and why they kept getting stolen. And now they suspect me. That it? And if they did? Oh, it's just about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I like it here. Like being the smith. Why would I go over to them outlaws? Way they treat metal. All that artless welding. No pride in it. Can't abide it. Nope. So I keep my distance from them. <sighs> Sorry I can't help. Never did catch the thieves. They knew what they were doing. If that's the case, I suppose I'll have to keep searching. Hope you find them. Good luck. Well, so he's got trade wise. Trade. Yeah. Oh, my armor's... Uh, that's better, but 220. Got those. Nope. Don't got enough money for anything. I saw a woman of such beauty. To love her. I Whee! Best way to get around. You just gotta watch your timing. Come on, come closer. Don't make an old man. I've spoken to Chloe. And did she have anything to do with those flyers? She claims someone stole those drink menus from her. She was even thinking about getting rid of the menus for good, 
would save her from having to make new ones all the time. Hmm, sounds like she isn't involved. I've spoken with Lass. So? Do you think he's involved? Doesn't look like it. Someone stole a batch of nails from his workshop. Same type you used to hang up the flyers. There's not much to go on. At least now we know for sure the nails were his. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Our only leads are up in smoke. I didn't have much luck either. I staked out the tavern hoping to see something suspicious, but nothing. A couple of people acting a little shady, but no one's stealing menus. Now we must have missed something, so let's go over the details again. Everything we know about the Flyers so far. Both our suspects seem to be innocent. The real culprit stole the Flyers and Nails from them. Right. It doesn't look like those robberies happened too recently. And no one saw the thief, which means we're not dealing with some small-time crook. They know what they're doing. What else do we have? The flyers were made and hung up using common items from around the fort. Interesting point when you think about it. Probably means we're dealing with someone who lives here, not some outsider. Anything else? It looks like the outlaws were behind it all. That much is obvious. Of course, someone could be framing them, but... Eh, I don't buy that. So, to sum up, the people behind the Flyers, and probably the attempt on Rat's life, too, are likely to be outlaws living in the fort. And they're not a bunch of amateurs. Hmm... So, what do we do now? Gotta admit, I don't have a frickin' clue. We're out of options here. The only thing left is to catch him in the act. So we just wait? Well, we can do a sweep of the fort once it's dark and hope we get lucky. Not a great plan, but unless you can think of anything else... Can't say I can. And that's what we'll do. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, so... Now... We need to go back here. And we did get a room, I think, already. Because we took stuff from in here. Yeah. Ugh, shit. Dawkins. I don't trust him at all. If I didn't need him, then... That's better. Right. No, Let's start our night patrol. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. How about we go off the beaten track? We can get a good look at what's going on behind the houses, too. Remember, we're not dealing with morons here. They're not gonna come strutting down the main road. Yeah. Pipe down. There's someone back there. He's mine. Right, go ahead. Okay. I'll wait here. Just be ready to back me up if he tries to make a break for it. Hey, you! Come over here! Uh, what? Are you talking to me? Don't play dumb. What are you doing back here? I'm just, uh, taking care of some private business. I know you're the one who tried to kill Rat. Don't try to deny it. What? No! Why would I do that? I've been a berserker for six years, and I've never done anything wrong, I swear. Then you won't mind telling me what you're doing here. I... well... The thing is, they... Ah, fuck it. Okay, I'll come clean. I was, uh, just doing my business, you know, taking a leak through the window. You what? Look, the guy who lives here tried it on with my woman. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Huh. 
I guess I'd be pretty pissed too. This might be taking it too far though. Still, I believe you. So get out of here before I change my mind. Bye, Ragnar. Thank you. You won't see me again. We'll be watching you. Well, that was a big hot stream and nothing. And as colorful as it might be, pissing through someone's window isn't quite against the law. It should be. Let's forget the whole thing and keep moving. Because when you gotta go, you gotta go. We'll be watching you. Keep your eyes peeled. Any tiny detail could be significant. You hear that? That place is full of ravers. Let's take a look. Those two look mighty suspicious, don't you think? We should get in closer, see what they're talking about. Good idea. We should listen in first. Move in until you're within earshot. Wait for my signal. Hey, baby. <laughs> Look, I told you, I'm not interested. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on, sugar. I know you want it. You don't have to play hard to get. Now give me some sugar. Hey! I think we've heard enough. Stop! You there! What are you doing, asshole? You totally cock-blocked me. Listen to yourself. Got more booze than sense in your head. Hey, take it easy. I, I wasn't gonna do anything to her. I ever see you talking to a woman like that again, I'll slam your face into the ground. And that's if you're lucky. Fuck, man. I get it. I get it. Maybe I did have a few too many. Get out of here and sleep it off. And think about what you're doing with your life. Go on, scram! Scumbag like that's always worth keeping an eye on. I won't forget his face. But as fucked up as that was, it has nothing to do with why we're here. Let's take a look around the smithy. That's where they got the nails. Maybe they'll be back for more. Can't believe something like that could happen here. You never see that kind of thing in Goliath. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch a break and find someone at the blacksmith. We better. After that, I'm out of ideas. At least it hasn't been a total waste. Plenty going on tonight. Just nothing that has anything to do with those flyers. Starting to think we won't find anyone connected to this whole mess tonight. Still, let's not give up. Sweep's not over yet. Look, over there, right by the smithy. You deal with this one. Go and speak to him. Okay, so... I know the options it's gonna ask, and, and if you don't have 100 charges to bribe the dude... Um... Might be a little difficult, so I'm gonna let him do it, because I, I don't want to spend that money. No thanks. I'll just keep watch and make sure he doesn't run. Alright then, I'll handle it. Hey you! What do you think you're doing there? Mind your own fucking business. I'm guessing petty theft. And I'm guessing you can get fucked. You better listen up, pal. If I find stolen nails in your pockets, I promise you will be in deep shit. And I do mean deep. You guards think you're so fucking special, don't you? I'm just looking for my cigs, all right? I dropped them around here somewhere. Needed a quick smoke before I hit the bottle again. That a crime? You got any witnesses who can back up your story? Uh, you can ask the whole fucking tavern. I made a big impression, I can tell you. So I'll be off now, you giant prick. Taking a walk, 
is not a fucking crime. I'll be watching you, pal. Ugh, another dead end. Let's just finish our sweep and head back to the tavern. Uh, this isn't gonna be our lucky night. Unless we suddenly stumble over the people we're looking for. I'm starting to lose hope. <laughs> Me too. Don't worry, I know where to go next. You have all the makings of a great berserker. Nice work out there. Thank you, Jax. You did well. This is interesting with the music off all the hey, weird sounds you hear. Nearly there. Seen anything else that looks fishy? Nope. Can't say I have. God but the outlaw's yeah. hideout is Maybe. in this area. Hidden. Well, there's the tavern again. Think I'll go in and soak up some of the atmosphere. Ask around. Maybe I'll hear something. That's about all we can do. Whole night was a waste of time. You giving up? Maybe. I don't know. We should split up for now anyway. Maybe we'll have more luck that way. Other than that, I'm all out of ideas. Anyway. Let me know if you see or hear anything that seems even slightly relevant. Anything. Right then. See you later. Not bad. Interesting. It's telling us to go this way. Well, let me see here. Yep. So now, you run over here. Guy will say... I don't know if he's going to say he wants to meet us at midnight again, and we got to go sleep, or we can just deal with it this time. Sure. But we'll figure it out. Right there, that's who we want to talk to. Hey, I have to talk to you. Not here, though. Follow me. What do you want from me? No, 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 not now. Not here. Follow me. We need to go somewhere quiet. I'll explain everything then. I bet you're surprised to be here. going dude of course running around with a bright, bright flashlight would you know most people would get wonder what that's all about but Okay, this'll do. We can talk here. What's with all this secrecy? Listen, you're drawing a lot of attention to yourself. Running through the camp, accusing everyone of working with the outlaws. It's not exactly subtle. So do the business. You're looking for the outlaws responsible for that propaganda. Am I right? Go on. <laughs> oh, are you barking up the wrong tree, pal? The Claws aren't outlaws, but we're, uh, sympathetic to their cause. You're on the path to winning the Berserker's trust. And I have an offer for you. What exactly are you offering? I want you to work for us. Don't worry, it won't involve bloodshed. We Claws prefer a more subtle approach. We want you to cozy up to the Berserkers. Pass us any information you find out. But we'll pay well. A lot of shards to be earned. And just to show we're serious, here's a small advance. 
Ooh. Any more where that came from? <laughs> Trust me. Think about it, all right? If you'll join us, meet me in my kitchen. If not, well, we never had this meeting, understand? Just don't take too long making up your mind. Okay, so now we gotta go back. He said we can just go meet him, so we're gonna go back and meet him. Question be, will we beat him back here? Maybe we got to come back tomorrow night. Holy shit! Got to make hay while the sun shines. Oh, dead raptor. Whoa! That's the bar. A bar. All right, did he come back? No. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. I'm in. I'll work for you. Ah, didn't think you'd decide so quickly. Glad to have you aboard. Okay, listen up. Before I take you to our hideout and make introductions, I need something. I need evidence that I can trust you. Like what? I need you to, uh, <laughs> get your hands dirty. We need to know you're prepared to take risks for us and have some thieving skills. No problem. What do you want me to steal? I want you to steal a ring. Just a ring? Well, no, 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 not just any old ring. It's a valuable piece that belongs to a wealthy trader who lives in the upper district. He won't miss it. How do I get it? Oh, well, shouldn't be a problem. You see, as a cook, I have access to the upper district. I collect the ingredients from my kitchen there. I know this trader has a secret entrance into his house. A kind of escape route. That is your way in. There's a device on the outside of his house that'll open the path for you. It should be simple. At night, access the secret entrance, sneak into the house, and steal the trader's signet ring. Got it? Come and see me when you're done. Oh, uh, <laughs> nearly forgot. The device needs a key. Lucky for you, I already made a copy without him noticing. Lucky indeed. We claws like to be well prepared. Okay, well I'm out. Good luck. All right, thieving for skinny. So let's see. Da, 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 da. That is where we're. Yeah, let's go back to Wolf real quick. what we're doing you'll need something to eat sleep fight with take the edge off last one's up I found one of the outlaws who've been putting up flyers at last some good news well who is it his name's skinny skinny the cook I find that hard to believe if he's one of them, they've wormed their way in much deeper than I thought. Whatever he wants from you, play along. I'm sure he's just the tip of the iceberg. The fort must be crawling with outlaws. That's not outlaws, it's claws. The bottom of this, no matter how deep it goes. 
so do whatever it takes to find out who's pulling the strings. Good work. Okay. What do I care? Fear, please. And then. Well, you're a barrel of laughs this evening. <sighs> Thieving for oh, skin. Yeah. I'm all smiles. And that's right over there. Want to talk about it? Ah, just a shitty assignment from Rat, that's all. But who cares, right? As long as there's beef. Oh, I hit a damn tree. Kind of funny, we're gonna go right past Fenris and everyone else. Now, we meet this guy later and he is a freaking scumbag. So, I got a few ideas. First, I'm gonna save. Go. Skinny's key seem to work. Doors open. Turn that light on. Got it. We should take the ring to Skinny. There's no weapons I can steal. But I don't have the stuff to hack. Ooh. All right, get out of my way. I believe that's it, man. There's like nothing in here to steal. Really? Damn it. I was hoping I'd get rich. And of course, a proper thief. Should probably lock it again. Lock your shit up. All right. Back to skinny. I stole the ring for you. Fantastic, but it's not for me. This ring's your ticket into our world. So, uh, keep it for now. By the way, you did close the secret passage, right? Wouldn't be good if someone saw it open. What do you think? This ain't amateur hour. <laughs> I didn't think it was. You'll make a fine addition to our little gang of thieves. Now, uh... Come with me. Time to introduce you to someone. Where are we going? Uh, no questions. Just follow me. No worries. I'll show you the door, but uh, you have to go through it alone. Claws work solo. See, that's how it works. Nobody knows I tested you. So she has a last word. If she thinks you're trustworthy, well, my friend, you are in. Listen, pal, I hate this vague bullshit. Who's she? I said no questions, didn't I? Just be patient. You'll see soon enough. Almost there. This is your hiding place? This? <laughs> of course not. 
See the trap door there on the floor? Yeah, let me unlock it for you. Okay, it's all yours. In you go. Just don't forget to close the tunnel back up when you leave. See you around. Hopefully. Wait, aren't you coming? Nope. You have to do this alone. Good luck. Aha. There we go. Open. And you can use the ladder or... <coughs> Jump off and make a fool of yourself. Alright. Before we start, because I'm going to do something different than I did last time. Alright. Welcome to the underground. Assignment chest. So... That makes me wonder that she'll give you a bunch of miss missions if you want to be a part of this. These guys. I'm Yasma. But before you say a word, I have to get this out. I don't want to know who you are. I don't want to know your name, and I don't care where you came from. Remember that, and we'll get along just fine. Haven't we met before? I don't know, and I don't care either. The Claws tend to disappear and never come back. They join other factions or end up dead. I've lost too many people I cared about. So I don't have any friends, and I don't care to make any. You don't seem surprised to see me. You being here means someone from the Claws vouched for you and showed you where our hideout is. You're not just here for your health. You've proven yourself to earn your place here. So what happens now? Well, if you're here, you would have had orders to steal something, right? Whatever that is, give it to me. Good. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe for you. We wouldn't want anyone to find it with your fingerprints on it. That'd be a shame. It'd give them an excuse to lock you up. That's the reason I no. probably should kill her. Why are you really here? I'm here to earn some shards. That, I'd believe. But it's still not the reason why you're here. I'll ask again. Why are you here? The real reason. Great. I was sent by the Berserkers to find out who's been spreading the propaganda at the fort. It takes a brave man to sneak into a monster's lair and tell the monster you're here to kill it. I respect that. You knew? Of course. We're the Claws. We know everything, see everything, and hear everything. Never underestimate us. If you knew that... And why'd you bring me here? I arranged this little test and sent Skinny to administer it. We hope to win you over so you join our cause. To show you I trust you, you can leave again. Alive. Tell me more about yourself. When we get to know each other better, I will. Take this. Propaganda leaflets? What am I supposed to do with them? They're proof that you found us. We've set up some old ruins near the fort to make it look like our hideout. Take these leaflets to Wolf. Tell him you found our camp. Then send him over to the decoy in the ruins. Do that, and it'll take the heat off us for a while. Then I'll answer all your questions. Good. Gun uh. down. Uh. 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 That's one down. Where's this other? Where'd the other guy go? There he is. I'll take care of that. Jesus. <laughs> Nothing in there. Oh boy. Uh.
Nope, don't know what I did to get that. Why in the hell is she dead? Oh, I can't kill her. How many times do I gotta kill this chick? Okay, hold on a second. I'm just gonna jump back here to my save. Skinny said I could keep the ring. Right up until I asked for it. This ring is insurance. It has your fingerprints on it. That means if you blow our cover, you'll be going down with us. Now hand it over. No, I'm keeping the ring. I want you to think very carefully about your next words. I already t Without it, we can't trust you. If we can't trust you... If you don't give me the ring, I can't let you leave here alone. I don't care. You're not getting it. Looks like Skinny made a mistake in trusting you. You would have been an asset to... I'll get him! All right, and see if she can die this time. I kept, I, I refused to give her the ring. Good. Where'd she go? That's one way. Yeah, that's not even worth getting in. That was one way to do it. So if you keep the ring, you actually get a fight and attacker. I wasn't about to give her that ring because the game makes a point of telling you when you buy it that things will come back and bite you in the ass. So giving that ring could s totally screw me further along here. So. Mine's chock full of gas, so change your filters out often, okay? There we I go. found the outlaw's hideout. You're absolutely sure? Yeah. Where is it? Underneath the fort. There's a hidden trap door that leads right into their den. Outstanding work. I'll send a few men down there right away. I have to say, I'm impressed. That gang had a bounty on their heads, so you have a nice reward coming your way. You earned it, all right. I'll be sure to tell Fenris how well you did. See you around. Anyone who says so is a damn Thanks, idiot. Thanks, Chloe. Appreciate it. So, the thing to keep in mind, the whole reason I did that, right, when he goes, any clearer. they go back there, they're gone. So that means that chick disappears with Everyone that ring, and we could die from it. I, for one, am not going to take that kind of risk. And then I gotta figure out what to do with this ring now. Now we need to go right. see Fenris. Go, one second. Yeah, I need to figure out something to do with this. Oh, it won't let me dump it either, huh? Oh, crap.
Here we go. I helped Wolf find the source of the propaganda. Ah, excellent news. I look forward to Wolf's report. Can I go to the upper district now? Well, let me see. You have at least one advocate, and you managed to find the source of the propaganda. I must say, I'm impressed. You officially have my permission to enter the upper district. You're the first person I can send up there with a clear conscience. Still, you should see Rat straight away. He's going to want to talk to you. He's the only one who can initiate new berserkers into the faction. I'm sure when he hears what you have done, he'll accept you, or at least give you a reward. I'll see you around. I have some things to do, especially now that the upper district is open to more people. Where can I find Rat? Go to the upper district and tell the gate guard Lothar I sent you. He'll let you pass. You'll be able to see Rat's tower right away. Whew! Alrighty, folks, so we're going to stop right there. Uh, I got some serious editing to do and try and get this video at least down to a half hour. We'll see if that happens or not. But when we come back, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go talk to Rat. So keep your heads down. Your protein shakes or health potions up. <laughs> and I'll see you again real damn soon.